In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to build out a simple AI application by leveraging Cursor, B0 by Vercel, and then we're going to be using one of the models on FAL. If you're not familiar with any of these, I'll go through them as we build this out. The first thing that we're going to go into is the FAL model that we're going to be using. If you just select background within the models here, so you can go to FAL.AI slash models. And in this case, we're just going to be using the first background removal model. We're going to go over to the API documentation. So we're just going to leave this open here. I'm going to go over to V0 here and I'm going to say, I want a simple application that allows me to upload an image and then send that image to the backend and ultimately show it on the right hand side of the screen once the result is processed make this page also have a simple nav with a title and a footer. So V0 is essentially a really great way to build out React components. It does really well with Shadcn UI as well as Tailwind, and it's built by the team over at Vercel, which are some of the best front-end engineers out there. Here we see our simple component. What we can do here is we can just click Install, and then copy that command. Now that we have that, we're just going to create a new Next.js project. I'm gonna say bunx create next app, and then we're gonna do it in the root of our directory here. And then once we have that, I'm just going to show you, we're gonna expand app here, and then we're gonna paste in that script that we got from V0. We're just going to proceed with everything. You can select the styles that you want. It doesn't really matter. And then once it's all done installing, you should see the component here. Here we see that we do have this image uploader. What we're going to do is we're going to go over to our homepage here. That's within this page. And we're just going to delete everything. Here, I'm just going to make a simple fragment. And then I'm going to add the image uploader. So I'll let the auto completion do its thing. And then I'm just going to import image uploader from the component there. Once we have that set up, we can just start our server. So we can bun dev. Here we see our image processor. So we have the ability to upload things and then our process result. So once we have that, what we can do from here is we can open up what's called the composer view. So on Mac, it's command shift I, it's probably going to be similar on windows as well. And then what you can do here is you can select the files that you want to pass within the context. So I'll just select the image uploader as well as the page. And then I'm going to give it a little bit more instruction. So I'm going to say, I want to wire this up with a foul AI model that removes the background from images. Use the image uploader front end component for the UI and the front end logic. And for the back end, let's make a server action that handles the BG removal from foul. So at this point, what you can do is you could go over to foul and you could paste in the documentation, but I'm going to show you a little bit of a trick. So within cursor, you can go at docs and there are a ton of docs built in here. So you'll see, I've already put in this foul BG remover. I'm going to show you how to do that in a second, but there's a ton of different things in here. Use Amazon docs or other docs like Next.js or Langchain or other stuff like that. But if you want to add your own is you can simply just copy in the URL for the doc and then you can submit that and then you can name it whatever you'd like. So I've already done this. So within here, if I just go docs now, we see that we do have the foul BG remover and it was just indexed. So it was just indexed before recording this video. I don't need to just copy and paste like a caveman that information from the website. I can just index it directly within cursor here. I'm going to submit that. And then what it's going to do, we do see the website there within the chat interface. So it is referencing that. And then the cool thing with the composer view is it's not just going to reference the context of the files and interact with those particular files. It can actually make files from scratch. So in this case, we see our actions.ts, which our Next.js project currently does not have. And then we see the correct way in terms of how to set up the file model. So you can also Reference this with the documentation if you like. Then from here, we have the tweaks to our front end. It's going to have a diff, and you can also go through this line by line. You can just command Y 
each different section of the diff and accept it one by one or you can just accept the whole file. And the other great thing with cursor is if you are a fan of just using your keyboard, you can just tab through everything and they also have key bindings for basically everything that you wanna do within the workflow. So here we can just accept each of these different files or alternatively, if you wanna accept them all, you can just command shift enter and you'll be able to have all of those changes applied. So you'll see all of those different check marks there. Here we'll exit out of the composer then we're just going to have to get our API key from file. So I'm just going to go over to keys. We'll add a new key and we'll call it BG removal two. And then within our project is we're just going to create a dot env dot local. And then you can just paste in your key like that. So foul underscore key and then paste in the value. So then you can save that out and close it out. So once that's done, what we're going to do is we're going to go over to our server. So we do see that we do have to install the file dependency still. We'll go back to cursor. We'll open up a new terminal window and then I'm going to bun add and then we're going to install the foul AI client there. Now we just need a photo to test this. So here I'll just save out this great photo of this draft here. We can select that photo. So here we see that we see our selected image. And if we click process image, we see that it's processing. We have that sort of pending state with it hopefully sending the request to foul.ai. And there we go. Now we have the background removed from our image. But now what we can do is we can go back to cursor and we can just start to give instructions on what we want to add to our application. In this case, I want to say, I want to add the ability to download the image and make the image full screen. What I did there is I command K to open it up. Again, it's probably going to be similar on Windows. And then here you're going to see it go through and make some diffs to apply some updates. That download image feature, the toggle full screen. In this case, we're going to accept them all, but you can also command Y to accept them one by one. We're going to accept them, save out the file again, and then we're going to go back. Try this again. We can just select our image, process image, then we see it's processing and then we'll see oh, now we have a download image and a view full screen. So view full screen, we can click away, download image, it opens up the link to the image and then you can just tweak it. So it didn't quite get what I wanted and I'm going to say I want the image to download, not open in the browser and I want to add an X in the full screen view to close it out. So this is just to give you a really quick example on how you can leverage cursor v0 as well as foul to build out a really simple AI application. So something like removing a background from an image, you can do it a ton of different ways. So in my opinion, there's no wrong way to do it. There's definitely obviously different ways to do this sort of thing. But here, if I just process the image one more time, and hopefully we see that we have those requests that we had asked for. If I click view full screen, we now see we can close it out. We have that X there. And if I click download image, it actually downloads. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you found this video useful, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Otherwise, until the next one.